This video is about how to graph period changes on a sine and cosine graphs. All right, to graph a period, let's think first, what is a period? A period is the time it takes, here's my graph, the time it takes to complete one cycle of the graph, whether it's sine or whether it's a cosine graph. How long does it take to complete the cycle before it starts repeating? So here's an example problem. But here's, here are the steps you're going to take. You're going to start with the, the points from the parent function. So in this example, it's sine. So here's the points from the sine function that I know from parent function. And what I'm going to do to find period changes are I'm going to divide. Notice it's divide, not multiply. Yesterday we multiplied, today we divide. So you can make a mental note of that. We are dividing the x values this time by b, okay, dividing by b from the equation to generate our new points. All right, we need to get new points to plot on our graph. All right, let's try this. Example one, y equals the sine of 6x. Okay, I've put down here our parent points of the sine function. Let's analyze this first. What is the amplitude of this? Remember, the a value here is just a one. The period, well, that's two pi divided by b. Well, b in this case is a six. So if I reduce that, as you always do, you get pi over three. All right, so you're always going to have to tell me amplitude and period. Now let's look at how do we find our new points. We'll start with the parent function. And remember, to find new points, I'm going to take the x values and I'm going to, and I'm going to divide it by whatever b is. Okay? So my x value is 0. Well, 0 divided by 6 is still 0. So the first point is good. The next point, pi over 2. All right, now, pi over 2 divided by 6. Now, guys... Pi over 2 divided by 6. Now think about this. That's 6 over 1, right? Well, you've got to get used to the fraction. Keep it, change it, flip it. So I'm going to keep this and flip this. So what I have for my new x value is pi over 12. It feels weird, but that's correct. The y value is not changed. Next one is pi. Well, pi divided by 6 is easy. It's just pi over 6. X, uh, or y value is 0. Next point, look, 3 pi over 2 divided by 6 over 1. This is going to be a keep it, change it, flip it. All right, so 3 pi over 2, change to multiplication, flip this over. When I multiply, I get 3 pi over 12. Well, that reduces to pi over 4. So my new x value is pi over 4. Y value is not changed in this scenario. It's still negative 1. Lastly is 2 pi. 2 pi divided by 6, we already talked about this. That is pi over 3. So it's pi over 3. All right, now on these, you're not going to plot the parent function. You're just going to plot the new points that you have. Okay, so look at your x values. They go from 0 to pi over 3. So I'm going to put pi over 3 over here. 0 is where it is. All right, the next one is pi over 12. pi over 6, pi over 4. That feels strange, but these are your new points. Now plot your points with the current y values. So you have 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. So what's happened is my curve no longer goes to 2 pi. It only goes to pi over 3. Next example, let's try this with the cosine graph. So I put the cosine parent points down here. Look at your equation. Amplitude, A is a 1, so my amplitude is simply 1, period. It's 2 pi divided by B. Well, B in this case is pi over 6. So it's dividing by a fraction. Yes, you've got to do this. 2 pi over 1 divided by this means I've got to flip the bottom. So look what's going to happen. My pi's are going to cancel, and my period now is 12 which feels very strange, but that does happen. So for my new points, again, I'm going to take all my x values, divide it by pi over 6, all right? So 0 divided by anything is still 0. So that first point is going to be fine. The next one, okay? Pi over 2 divided by pi over 6. Keep it, change it, flip it. Six over two, which is three y is still 0. Next one, pi divided by 
pi over 6, I gotta flip the bottom. So it's gonna be pi over 1 times 6 over pi. Those cancel, and my new x value is 6. My y value is still negative 1. 3 pi over 2 divided by a fraction, I'm gonna flip the bottom, 6 over pi. Pi's cancel. I get 18 over 2. Guess what? That's 9. 0. 2 pi divided by pi over 6. Keep the change and flip it. Pi's cancel, and 2 times 6 is 12. So my last point is 12, comma 1. All right, so look at your x values. They go from 0 all the way out to 12 now. Right in the middle is 6, then there's a 3, and then there's a 9. Amplitude is the same as the parent function, just keep it simple. And then we plot our point. At 0, it's 1. At 3, it's 0. At 6, it's negative 1. At 9, it's 0. And at 12, it's back up to 1. So you can see the curve looks the same as always, but it's really important that you're showing your tick marks on your graph, showing me your new x value. Another example, this one might throw you for a loop because you got two things going on. You have an amplitude change and a period change. So amplitude in this case is the absolute value of A, which is 4. So that means the distance from the midline is 4 now. The period is 2 pi divided by 2. Well, that means it's just pi. All right. So two things going on. For an amplitude change, remember, I have to do the y value times a, and then I have to do the x values divided by b for a period change. So we've got two changes happening for each point. So the first one, well, 0 times negative 4 is still 0. And then, I'm sorry, the x value is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So the y value, 0 times a, which is negative 4, is still 0. So that first point did not change. Next one, x value dividing by b, which is 2. Okay, so it's pi over 2. Keep the change and flip it. That makes pi over 4. y value is 1, multiply that by your a, which makes this negative 1. Next point, x value gets divided by b, which is 2, so that makes that pi over 2. 0 times negative 4 is still 0. Next point, all right, 3 pi over 2 divided by 2. Keep it, change it, flip it. What's that going to be 3 fourths of pi? y value is negative 1, multiply by negative 4, and I get a positive 4. Last point, 2 pi divided by 2 makes it just pi. And then 0 times negative 4 is still 0. All right, so now we have our points. Look at your x values. They go from 0 all the way up to pi. And then I have half of that, pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. Those are the x values I just found. Now I plot my y values. So the base bit goes to 0 to 4 or 0 to negative 4. So 0, and then the next point at pi over 4 is at negative 4, so it's flipping. Pi over 2, it's at 0. At 3 pi over 4, it's up at 4. And at pi, it's back at 0. So I took my sine curve and it flipped upside down, stretched it, and had a horizontal shrink as well. All right, for the whisk, I want you to try this one. Okay, only one change going on. It's just a period change. B is 3 pi. So make sure you apply that correctly to your amplitude, period, graph, points, the whole shebang. All right, good luck, and we'll see you in class.